Hey guys, today we're going to be setting up Node Red on Ubuntu. Node Red is a very amazing platform that runs on JavaScript that you can use to connect a bunch of services together. I'll show you more of that later, but I'm going to get started here with the Ubuntu Virtual Machine setup. Uh, there is written documentation available on my website. The link is in the description. Let's get started. So I just selected English. We're going to continue without updating. Done. Done. And this is the IP address of the VM. You're going to want to note that down. Um, and just a little background here, this VM is a 2-core, 4 gigabyte RAM virtual machine running on Proxmox. Uh, the specs you can have really low, you can have the specs really high, just depends on your use case for Node-RED. I usually use about 2 cores and 2 gigs of RAM for most of my VMs. I gave it 4 gigs of RAM today, that way I have a faster setup time, but it's really up to you and up to the specs that you have available on your server. You can also run this on Raspberry Pi, the installation instructions are pretty similar. Uh, and you can just try using those. Like I said, those are linked in the description below. We're going to continue. We're going to continue. It's going to check the mirror. This is normal. Uh, you just got to give it a second here, and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, we just click done. Uh, we're going to scroll down here. We're not going to use encryption today. We're going to go up here to the very top. Click enter. Unmount. Go down to Ubuntu LV. Click enter. We're going to edit this. We're going to change the size to the maximum size it says. It actually says the max size right here. Uh, by default, Ubuntu does not pre-allocate all of your storage, so um, you want to make sure you allocate it all here. It's going to be a lot easier than doing it after the fact. Our mount, we're going to mount to just the root slash directory there. Click save, go all the way down to the bottom, done. Uh, we confirm the destructive action and continue. Your name, this is your account, so we're going to say bn node red demo, the networks, and our password. Click done, click done. And we're going to install OpenSSH server, done, um, tab, and done. This is all for the Ubuntu install. Now you need to wait for it to do the updates. It's going to run through everything. At the very bottom, it's going to say reboot now. You're going to reboot now, and then we are going to proceed with the Node-RED installation. Okay, so right here is where it says reboot now. We're going to go down arrow twice and click reboot now. As you can see, the VM is now rebooting. We're going to click Enter since we are done with the installation. And now we are going to wait for it to boot now into Ubuntu. Okay, so we are now booted into Ubuntu. I have done my basic installation of Ubuntu. I will show how to do that in a future video. It doesn't really matter for the purposes of this video, but basically I've updated this VM and I have ran a couple other commands to get it to the normal instance of Ubuntu that I like um, with my preferences and stuff. So. Next, we're going to follow the instructions linked down below. This is the installation tutorial, the documentation available. We're going to paste in these commands and run this so we can install Ubuntu. So this is the first command. We are installing NVM, which is basically a package manager-ish, kind of like apt, except it's easier to use for installing Node.js, and that's what we're going to do today. So NVM is just basically going to install Node.js for us, and we can easily switch Node.js versions if we ever wanted to in the future, which is nice for Node-RED because we can switch to a newer version of Node.js if we want to upgrade our Node-RED. So now we're going to say nvm ls-remote, and this is going to show us a massive list of available Node.js packages, and we're actually going to use the latest LTS, which is Iron. We're going to say nvm install v20.11.0, 20 uh, and it's going to install Node.js version 20.11.0 for us. Now that Node.js is installed, we are going to install Node-RED. So we're going to say npm install dash g dash dash oops dash dash unsafe uh, perm node dash red. This is going to install Node Red straight from the source. And after that, basically, we're going to install something called PM2, which is kind of a service manager for Node.js. It's going to automatically start Node Red uh, when this VM boots up. Okay, so now that that's installed, we're going to do npm install g pm2. Uh, like I said, pm2 is kind of just a service manager that's going to start Node Red when the Ubuntu instance is started, or the Ubuntu virtual machine is started or rebooted. Okay, so before we have PM2 start Node-RED, we need to start it manually, just so it all initializes correctly into the right directory. We're going to say node-red, and now we're going to do control c on the keyboard to close out of that. That is all we have to do for that part. And now we can run the PM2 command that is going to start Node-RED. We're going to paste that in here, click enter, and there we go, it started. So. Now that PM2 has started Node-RED, we can say PM2 startup system D. This is going to link it to a system D service or system CTL service that will automatically start up when the VM starts up and click enter. And now we are going to save this by saying PM2 save. 
and that is all we have to do. So now if we go to a web browser, we should be able to navigate over to node red in our web browser. So next I'm gonna grab the IP address of our virtual machine right here, just so we have it. I'm gonna to go to Safari, and we are going to basically just type in the IP address on port 1880 in our web browser. We're going to type this in, click enter, and we're going to go through the startup process, which there's nothing to do for this. Basically just need to click through these steps. And now we are in. This is a new fresh version of Node Red. Obviously, it's completely blank. Um, I'm going to actually check the version here. That is correct. So we're on version 3.1.3. .3. That's fantastic. So now I'm going to actually show you a few other things you can do with Node Red now that you're running it on Ubuntu. You can cd into .node red, run ls. We can see that we have a settings.js file here. Uh, this is where you're going to find a lot of useful information. We're going to go and we're going to do control W. We're going to search for tours. I actually like to turn these off. That was that welcome message we just saw. The reason being that every time you log in, I'm going to show you how to add a login icon up here. But basically, every time you log into Node Red, it's going to show you that like startup sequence again, and it gets really annoying for me. So I like to turn the tours off. And then the next thing is we're going to search for admin auth. So admin auth. And as you can see right down here, we have the admin auth section that we're going to uncomment. And I'm going to show you how to generate a password as well. But basically, you need to uncomment all of these sections right here. And this string right here is what you need to replace with your own password. So to generate a password, you obviously don't type in the password in the file. That would be stupid. You're going to save this file, control X, Y, enter. And you're going to run node-red admin hash-pw. Uh, this is going to prompt you for a password. So I'm going to say password. And as you can see, we have a password right here. We're going to copy this and add this to our settings.js file. Search again for admin auth, which is admin auth. And find this section. We're going to actually fill this in right here. Just like that. Control X, Y, enter. And now we're going to say PM2 restart node-red. And as you can see, if we reload the page here, we actually have a login prompt now. We're going to say admin and password. And there we go. We are now into our node-red. We have the admin... Um, user up here in the top and we did not get that tour when we went to log in which is fantastic if you're curious as to more of what node red can do i can create a follow-up video i just wanted to keep this one short and sweet because i feel like once you're once you know how to install node red once you can figure out what it is you can see yourself a lot of different applications it can be used for and node red is a really powerful tool that has been super reliable for me as well i have had zero issues with reliability on node red it works pretty much 100 percent of the time with little to no maintenance, which is fantastic. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video.